Welcome to chapel. We begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Please join me in our opening sentences from Psalm 33. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you right righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise him. Sing to him a new song, play skillfully, and shout for joy. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his unfailing love. Gathers the waters of the sea into jars, he puts the deep into storehouses. For he spoke, and it came to be, he commanded, and it stood firm. From heaven the Lord looks down and sees all mankind from his dwelling place. He watches, he watches all who live on earth. We will collect the offering and sing how great is our God. God is so great, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Our 
God is so great, isn't he? To think that he created the world and everything in it in six days is beyond human understanding. I mean, planning a class chapel sometimes takes longer than that. And I think all the teachers would back me up on that, right? Our world was perfect until sin entered, and the need for a savior was truly God's ultimate plan to redeem his creation. Jesus told many stories called parables to explain God's kingdom. Please listen as we tell one of Jesus' parables from Matthew 13, one through nine, are you in a good place to grow? Once was a man who went out to sow some seeds. Today's a great day for planting all these seeds today. As he scattered the seeds, some fell along the path. Yippee, what a great path. This will be a great place to grow. But it wasn't a great place to grow. Hey, what are those shadows? The sun's out, but there's nothing to make a shadow. Something's wrong here. Oh no, birds! And the birds came and gobbled up all the seeds along the path. Help! Some seeds fell on rocky ground where there wasn't much soil. Look, I'm sprouting. Ha ha, I even have little roots. Aren't they cute? What a great place to grow. But it wasn't a great place to grow. Boy, that sounds hot. Phew, I'm feeling faint. I wish there weren't so many rocks that I could get my little shit deeper. Hotter. Water. The sun was so hot and the plants were, no. The sun was so hot and the roots were so small that the plant dried up. Hell. Some seeds fell among the thr thorns. Well, this is bad at all. The neighbors look a little strange, but that's okay. I can deal with that. What a great place to grow. But it wasn't a great place to grow. I'm growing, but the neighbors look a little strange. In fact, they look meaner every day. I wonder who they are. Seeds neighbor for the thorns. Soon the thorns got so mean they choked the young plant. Help! Some of, some of the seeds fell on good soil. Whoa, would you look at this place? This is amazing. There's plenty of water, good soil, and not too much sun. The neighbors look friendly. I don't see any birds. What a great place to grow. And it was a great place to grow. So great, in fact, that sometime later. Ta-da, presenting Super Seed. Ladies and gentlemen, once I was one lonely seed, but now look at me. I've grown 30, 60, or even 100 seeds. Just count them. I'm full grown and it's terrific. I tossed some seeds, oh yeah, on good, rich soil. Then I pulled out all the weeds. Then I got, I got all the water they need so they won't fade from dehydration. Jesus didn't tell this parable to get more people interested in farming. The purpose was to show that God loves us and his free gift of salvation is for everyone. Each type of soil describes a different type of person. The seeds that fell on the path and were eaten by the birds are the people whose hearts are hardened and will not turn to God. These are the Pharaoh type of people and refuse God. The seeds that fall on the rocky soil are the people who get excited quickly and get bored with something just as quickly. It's just like that new toy you had you had to have and then the next day you don't play with it anymore. The seeds that fell among the thorns are people who say they believe in Jesus but don't act like it. The seeds that fall on good soil grow and mature. All those who follow Jesus love him and stay connected to him. 
God has given us such a good place to grow at CTK. We learn how much he loves us and plans every day of our lives. We are so thankful for God's love, forgiveness for our sins, and that he cares for us. Please pray with me. Dear Jesus, thank you for such a good place to grow here at CTK. Please forgive us when we sin, and thank you for the promises of heaven that we look forward to. In your name we pray, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, We will close by singing the goodness of God followed by the doxology.
please stand and we're gonna sing the doxology. <laughs> 